Joe Bye Bye Biden has officially dropped out. Click the link below, man. Click the link below, man. This is just confirmation, man. I told y'all not to vote for the man. You a coon, Fred. You a hater. You hate black people. You anti this. I am the most, one of the more, I am the most successful black man you have, you have interacted with for some of y'all. <laughs> for many of y'all. That at the time gave two to four hours a night, willfully, peacefully, freely, all my resources to the people. Oh, you hate black people. But I bring people on that are positively and negatively, as y'all think, impacts the black culture. <laughs> y'all never going to learn. Culture, family starts at the dinner table. Politics is not a party. It's what your culture is at the dinner table. Let me wind that back. Culture is not a political party. It's the culture you build at the dinner table. Sometimes it's going to be Green Party. Sometimes it's going to be Independent. Sometimes it's going to be Republican. Sometimes it's going to be Democrat. Caveat, if you live in a major city, it can it should never be Democrat. <laughs> if you live in, I'm going to just say the cities I've lived in and I know well. Harlem, Bronx, New York, and South Central LA, now known as South LA. Those cities should never vote Democrat. I didn't say, see, you know what you heard? Vote Republican. <laughs> I didn't say that either. But you got to get the Democrats out of your city if you want change, if you want evolution, if you want gentrification. Now they're about to gentrify the Democratic Party, man. I'm laughing. I'm overjoyed because in addition to everything that I said was true in politics, I said was true in boxing. And you know who's at the center of it all? Me. Who's thriving? Me. Who's winning? Me. Yes? Nah, they don't at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my aunt. My aunt's visiting from New York. She's leaving tomorrow. Yeah. And, uh, but, um, but yeah, man, Joe Biden, Joe Bye Bye Biden is gone. Now what you gonna do? It's over. It's over. What's that church song? It's over now. I, what's that, Miles J? I, I've been a fool for you. All my young kids, go Google Miles J. I think it's I've been a fool for you. It's going to be one of your favorite classics if you Google that song. 100%. Yeah, I remember the first time I heard that song was in 1990, playing pool with my stepfather. Mm -hmm. I remember it vividly, <laughs> vividly. So anyways, man, uh, I'll come back with more. We'll have fun. Man, the, what's happening with PBC, what's happening with the Democratic Party is, is, is inching me closer to going live. It's inching me closer to bringing back the show so I can say, ha ha, I told you so for an hour. I don't care. You can listen. You can disagree. I don't care. I'm just going to say, I told you so. How about you call in now? Call in now. Oh, uh, we got to choose the lesser of the two evils. The lesser of the two evils in 2020 election was Donald Trump. He promised y'all a billion dollars. He promised the culture a billion dollars. And y'all got mad because he labeled it platinum. What's the difference between that and Hillary dropping the hot sauce? And going on the breakfast club and saying she got hot sauce in her bag because she wanted y'all black women to love her like, like y'all love Beyonce. <laughs> 
I'm coming back. I want to go watch, finish, spend time with my aunt and go watch basketball and watch the reports. I'm going to come back, though. I'll, I'll be back like my Republican governor of years back. I'll be back. <laughs>